going to print for sublimation, but I have a flag that is 12 and a half by 18 and a half. My sublimation printer only prints out eight and a half by 11. So I'm gonna show you how we are going to cut and subtract and we are going to add these pages together to print out a bigger. So on this, I'm going to show you, I've already had this set up, but I'm gonna go over this with you. We're gonna turn the machine to none because we are not gonna use the machine. We are just gonna use the software. The cutting mat is none, okay? And then we are also going to do the media size as custom. Right here, I have already changed the width to 12 and a half, okay, by 18 and a half. That gives me a little bit more for my, for my flag, a little bit of overhang, so that way, I have room for it to overlap a little bit. So I'm going to use this as what I'm going to print. So I have it the size of the, of the flag. So now I'm gonna to have to use roughly, okay, I drew a box with eight and a half by 11. This is what mine prints. Okay, so basically if you look here, we are gonna to have to use about four pages. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to duplicate this four times because this is going to represent my four. Let me move these over right here. Okay, and I need to duplicate this four times, which I've already duplicated it three times. I just need to do one more. So I'm kind of putting them together so that way I have more room. Okay, so now I'm going to bring one over. Okay. And I'm going to grab this. Now the key to this is this always has to be brought to the front. Okay, so that way whenever I bring this over, and I line it up and I select it, this has to be in the front. So that way, whenever I go to the divide page, which is, I'm actually hovering down to the modify. Okay. And this is the modify where you can weld, subtract and divide. Today we want to divide. So I'm gonna click divide on that. And then I have one page, okay? So there's one page that I have. All right, so now I'm going to take another one and I'm gonna bring it over here. Now you are going to want to overlap this, okay? So I have a little bit of the T in there. So I'm going to go ahead and go over a little bit more. And I'm going to overlap so that way you can see it overlaps, but I'm actually only going to make it about like there. So it's only like a half an inch or so. That way for one, I'm not wasting ink on something that I don't need. Let me scoot that down. Okay, and I'm gonna slide this one back over because this is gonna be one page. Now I am going to move these over out of the way, so that way. All right, now this has to be brought to the front always, okay? So then I'm going to select both of the boxes, press divide, and then unclick, and then there is my other page. Okay, so these two right here, I can delete.
because I no longer need those. Okay. And that actually. All right. All right, so here is one of my pages. This is my other page to this. Okay. So I'm gonna set that up there. I'm trying to keep my page big enough to where you can see this on a computer screen too. So since I've already used this to divide, I'm going to delete this, okay? And that has actually got a little bit of overhang. So now I need to take another box down here, okay? And I'm going to slide this one down just a little bit so I know where I need to go over and and take my box. Okay. All right, so there's my first page. I'm going to drop it down some. Oh, sorry. Okay move this over just a little bit. I don't want to reprint a lot because I don't want to waste my ink. All right, so I'm gonna go right about there. Okay, double check. Okay, that's about good. All right, so now I'm going to make sure that this is brought to the front, okay? So see, when you know that it's brought to the front, you will not see your borders anymore. I'm gonna select both my page box and the flag, and I'm gonna press divide, okay? Now I have to unclick and then it takes that off, okay? So then I have this to print that will go, okay? So I can get rid of this box, this box, and I can delete that, okay? So I have my other page over here. So now I'm going to bring my last one up, So I know exactly about where I need to go to print because I am going to cut off just a little bit of this, but you, you always want to make sure that you have enough of the print. Okay, so see, I have way too much here. So I'm going to drop down. Okay. All right, and move those out of the way. Okay, and I'm going to slide this over just. About the middle of this M. All right, and then I have enough over here, okay? Because we're not wanting to waste ink, okay? So now make sure, again, my box is in front. So I need to bring this to the front, okay? So now you cannot see my box, okay? I'm going to select that and that box. Okay, I have both of those highlighted. I'm going to press divide one more time. Click off of it. Then I have that one, okay? Delete that. And then I can take this box, delete that. And then I will be ready to print all of my pages, okay?
Okay, so now I'm going to go back over and I am going to change my print, my uh, media size down to the eight and a half by 11. Okay. Okay. All right. So then that way, whenever I put whatever paper I have on here, we know that it's going to fit. And then I'm going to print from there. So now I'm going to go over, I'm going to press for print. Okay, this is showing you what it's going to print. This is in the print setup. I'm selecting my sawgrass right here. I'm going to double check and make sure that my preferences Standard letter, okay, everything is good. All right, so now I'm gonna apply and then I'm going to go to print. Okay, and I will be right back.
Okay. So I have printed this one. I'm going to slide this one over. You move this one. Okay. And I am going to move this one in the middle of the paper. That way I have a little bit more room. Okay, and I am printing from Sawgrass. So I'm gonna go to print. I'm gonna press print, but I'm going to go to my print manager. Okay. And then, of course, my substrate is going to be polyester. I'm using text print R, high quality, okay, and it is going to collect mirror. So I'm going to press print. And I will print the rest of these pictures or these papers, and I will be back on the video to show you how to put those together. Okay, so today I will be out of frame because I want you to be able to see up close that here is, here is my sublimation flag. Okay, and we are going, this is actually for double sides, so you could do both sides. We may do a video on that also. So, let me get into taping and everything for this. So, I am going to lay these out and I'm going to trim these up. I'm going to go ahead and take the white off because I went ahead and I overlapped on some of them. And we will get into that in just a few minutes. All right, so let me go ahead and trim these. So now that I have all these trimmed up, I want to show you, I overlapped a good bit, which you can do a quarter of an inch or however you would like on that. About, about perfect on that one. And so what I will do, I will go back and I will tape these. And then that way, I will line these up and I will tape these. So, let me start down here with... That way it gives me some room to play with. And I can move them around a little bit more. So, I like to go from here start here and then work my way up and look and see because it may not be completely straight okay so i'm going to start and i'm going to do i have that one perfect i need to move this one Kind of hard to do on the okay now I'm just going to gently flip it over and I'm going to tape this seam up I 
Okay. Even. Okay. Because now we have to connect these two together. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. So everything looks good. Um, I'm going to pause and get my heat press ready so that way we can put this on and press our, our flag. Okay. And the reason why I am doing this one right here, I know I'm not in the frame, but I will let you know, um, we are celebrating six years with 6% starting tomorrow on the 8th. Um, we have been in here, um, we've 6% off your entire purchase. So, come in um, for tomorrow only. This is one of the Easter eggs that we like to drop in one of our videos. So, if you're watching, um, like and subscribe so that way you can hear and find out any more deals that we drop. All right, let me heat up the heat press and I'll be right back and we will press this. Okay. So now I am back. I have this all taped up. I'm ready. My heat press is ready. I actually have a pressing pillow up underneath here. And then I have this. What I'm going to do before I press this, I am going to give you a code. And whenever I said that you would get the 6% off the website orders or in store, you would need to come in and or come in or put in the coupon code of um, YouTube 6 okay so you would put YouTube 6 for your for your coupon code so that way you get your 6% off alright so now that I have done that and that is one of our Easter eggs we like to drop little discount codes so you never know when we're gonna do this um, alright so now I'm going to put this on here Okay. All right, and now I'm going to put this over it. All right. And then this. All right. And now I'm going to press it for 60 seconds. Okay, there's grab the whole thing. It's going to be hot. Like that. If you have any other ideas, just let me know. <laughs> 